Who here wants Russell Wilson to stay with the Seattle Seahawks? In theory, that's pretty much every single person who watches this video. If that's you, I want you to like the video right now. Kind of speak it into existence. Send some positive vibes out there into the universe. If you want Russ to stay, go like the video right now. Here's what's coming up on Seattle Seahawks Day. The latest on Russell Wilson, including will he stick around as a Seahawk? Some Bobby Wagner extension talk, a possible Jaron Reed reunion, and if you want more free videos here on Seattle Seahawks today, make sure to hit that big red button and subscribe. We'll begin with the latest from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN. Quote, he says, I talked to two people inside the Seahawks organization leading up to the show. This was on Monday morning on Get Up. They said they'd be surprised if Russell Wilson was dealt. I know there's been some speculation for the last year or so. They feel like Seattle and Russ are in a good place right now. Russell Wilson would have to, force, to, to, to sort of force the issue and request the trade at this point, and there's no evidence that he's willing to do that. If you're Seattle, you don't want to trade Russ, nor should they. If you want to be competitive and win games right now, there's no doubt that Russell Wilson gives you the best chance to do that of all the available quarterbacks out there right now and just the ones, of course, on your own roster. I do think what Fowler mentions is accurate. Seattle does not want to trade him. This does, I believe, come down to what Russell Wilson wants. If he wants to be moved... I think that might end up happening, but it's up to Wilson. Seattle does not want to, nor should they, choose to move him. Here's what Russ recently said, by the way, at the Pro Bowl. Quote, you think about Tom Brady. You think about Ben Roethlisberger. Those, are, those guys are some of the best of all time. It's been amazing to watch and be around those guys, and hopefully I get to, p to play in one place for a long, long time like those guys did. Big Ben, of course, finished his career in Pittsburgh. Tom Brady did not, however, as Brady found a chance to win one more ring elsewhere and was able to do so. So I am intrigued to see how the Russell Wilson stuff moves forward. As I'm on the record saying, extend him and pay him more money and get his cap hit down moving forward. Now, ESPN also recently went through a kind of a mock simulation of, hey, this is what could happen in the offseason with various teams acquiring various quarterbacks. Now, Again, the recent report suggests he wants to stay, but I thought it was some good insight into what could happen if a team makes a big offer for Russell Wilson and Russell Wilson decides he wants out. A lot of offers. Here are three of the more intriguing ones. One from Philadelphia, Jalen Hurts, two first-round picks, number 15 and number 16, and a 2023 second-round pick. So a potential starter at quarterback, and really is a starter at QB, and two first-round picks. Actually, a pretty good offer. Not that dissimilar from the Browns one here involving Baker Mayfield and two first-round picks. I think I would prefer the Jalen Hurts one. He's cheaper. He's under contract for a little bit longer, and you get better picks overall. Two top 16 picks versus what would probably be 13 and Call it, what, 25 next year? I like that Eagles one more. The super intriguing, and I don't think I like it that much, one is, is this one. The Panthers get Russell Wilson, and for some reason, a third? Uh, okay, I'm not sure why Seattle's giving up premium picks here. The Seahawks then get Sam Darnold, Christian McCaffrey, a fifth this year, a first, and a third next year. So we'll pretend the thirds kind of sort of cancel each other out. A fifth, a first, Darnold and McCaffrey for Russell Wilson. Uh, McCaffrey's really pulling the weight in that particular trade, which eh, I don't love that much because I don't think Sam Darnold is any good. So would you say yes to any of those deals? Philadelphia, if you like that deal, type in PHI. If you like the Browns one, type in CLE. The Panthers one, type in CAR. And if you don't like any of them and you just want to keep Russell Wilson, then type in keep in the comment section. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So... The ad break comes here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. In the end, by the way, before you all get mad at me in the comments, ESPN's prediction was no deal for Russell Wilson, which is, I believe, the correct path for Seattle. Russell Wilson is better by a pretty good margin than any of these three quarterbacks coming back to you in a trade. Jalen Hurts brings you more rushing and to be honest, outplayed Baker as a passer this year. Injuries, no doubt a factor in the whole Baker Mayfield problems. Sam Darnold is, he's not good. 
Um, I don't know what more evidence we're going to have to see for everyone to go, yes, he's not a franchise QB. It wasn't just Adam Gase. It was that we've had th four years now of Sam Darnold not being the guy. <laughs> he's, he's not someone you want as your franchise QB. He's not Ryan Tannehill 2.0. He's just not a good QB. Everyone's stuck on their priors of him being a top five pick. Russell Wilson, however, is way better than all of those guys. So I think it's pretty straightforward. You want to keep Russell Wilson in Seattle. And if you agree with me, like the video right now. Again, speak that positive vibes, those that energy into the universe and make things more competitive for Seattle next year in terms of the wins and don't try to enter a rebuilding phase without Russ. Today's show is presented by our sportsbook partner, Bet. US. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code Seahawks125. When you put down at least 100 bucks, that'll get you 125% deposit bonus. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Seahawks125. The Super Bowl odds, by the way. Rams, a four-point favorite. I would assume no one watching wants to cheer for the Rams. Makes sense to me. So, hey, go Bengals. Who day there? 100 bucks down and get to a 125% deposit bonus. You can bet on all kinds of props available for the Super Bowl as well. Just remember to use promo code Seahawks125 at chatsports.com slash bet. On out of Bobby Wagner, as SB Nation says, Wagner's not going to get cut. That's not going to happen. There does have to be a change in some capacity with his contract. He is in the final year of his deal, has a $20 million cap hit. That is an untenable number for an off-ball linebacker at this point in the NFL uh, cycle in terms of needs and positional value, all that stuff. There has been plenty of talk on, hey, could he be cut? Could he get traded? I don't think it, you're not going to get much in a trade because he's got to restructure his deal. I wouldn't cut him either. I would just keep him and make him your linchpin on defense like he's been for so long. Here's what Field Goals writer at the SB Nation site, John Gilbert, wrote. Now, it's certain that fans don't want to see what is about to be written, but the simple fact of the matter is that Wagner remains the unquestioned leader of the defense. I'm actually not sure that's the case. I don't know if that's something that people don't like. Anyway, that leadership is likely something that Pete Carroll and John Schneider will want to have around as the team eases in new defensive coordinator Clint Hurt. Many fans won't want to see it happen, but a two-year extension for Wagner, which reduces his 2020 salary to $4 million, includes a $14 million signing bonus, and avoiding the 2025 season might work for both sides. For the Seahawks, it would allow them to keep the leadership and professionalism that Wagner can teach the youngsters while providing continuity as Hurt steps in. I'm actually not that concerned about the leadership and continuity stuff. Uh, he's a good football player. So I want to keep him. I would restructure Bobby Wagner as well because I think he's still one of, if not your very best, defensive player. Is he aging? Yes, absolutely. But if your goal is to win games in this Russell Wilson window of three, four, five, however many long years it is, you don't want to be tr moving on from good players even as they begin to age. You can, you're still going to use a bunch of Bobby Wagner and Jordan Brooks. I'm not saying you're not going to play Brooks or anything, but restructure him, extend him. You don't have to pay him $20 million per year. You can bring down that salary cap to the hit to what uh, the uh, SB Nation mentioned. It's like less than $10 million per year, at least on the cap hit this year. That's valuable. So I'm, I'm not moving on from Bobby Wagner. I don't actually think, that's not what I've seen in the comments, that most of you guys want to move on from Wagner. He's a good football player. Restructure him. Don't just cut him and then have another big time need at the linebacker position. Now, if and when Seattle makes a move, it's when. they got to do something with that contract. We'll keep you guys updated. And if you want updates throughout the offseason, hit that big red button and subscribe. It's YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. If you want the best Seahawks coverage out here on YouTube, you have come to the right spot. So if you haven't already, not really too sure what you're waiting for, hit that big red button and subscribe. Now, for the many fans, I'm going to put that in quotes, not what I've seen in the comments, who don't want Bobby Wagner, I think you guys are crazy. This has been one of the premier off-ball linebackers for years now in the NFL. Does he have like five more peak years left? No, of course not. He's still a good run defender. He is not a liability in coverage. He remains a fantastic leader if you want to go that route there. And if you move on from Bobby Wagner... Linebacker becomes one of your biggest needs. Who here trusts Ben Burkirvan or Cody Barton to be the starter opposite Jordan Brooks? 
I don't. Frankly, I still want to see more out of coverage in Jordan Brooks before I anoint him as the true heir for linebacker one in Bobby Wagner. So we'll leave this up to you guys here. Should the Seahawks bring back Bobby Wagner? It would have to be on a restructured deal. It's not $20 million cap it. I don't want to do that. I don't think any of you guys do either. So what do you think? Y for yes or N for no? Sound off for me in the comments section. How about a reunion now involving Jaron Reed? Fan sided suggests maybe she at Seattle should consider bringing Reed back. And I think I actually might have mentioned this on a previous video very briefly. I don't hate it that much. He spent last season with the Chiefs after he was cut by Seattle because he didn't want to restructure his deal, which wouldn't have actually cost him any money. He took a pay cut, which I thought was pretty confusing. And Seattle does still need some interior defensive line help. When he was with Seattle, Jaron Reed provided what the Seahawks still do not have on the roster right now, a true, reliable, mostly steady, impact interior pass rusher. I like Al Woods. I love Puna Ford. I like some of the depth. You got some guys who can kick inside. Kerry Hyder, Rasheem Green, etc. LJ Collier is, and we'll call him what he did the bus at this point, folks. But you don't have that, even though you don't have that Michael Bennett guy who can play base and then kick inside for you on, on, base, on, on pass rushing downs, I would have interest in bringing back Jaron Reed if the two sides are in a good spot. I don't, things did not end well, that would have, that bridge would have to be mended for it to actually go down in terms of a potential Reed reunion. He began the year slow, just 17 tackles, six QB hits. I think not, uh, not limited to the impact of moving Chris Jones back inside and getting Melvin Ingram. Reed played better in the back half of the year, 26 tackles, three TFLs, 2.5 sacks. He's going to be cheap this year. So if he can mend the fences with Seattle, I do have interest. But what do you guys have to say? Would you sign Jaron Reed? Type S for sign or P for pass.